Well, that was uh, the first time trying that intro out, you know, because we don't have an intro to, or music at least, to this podcast. So, what is up, guys? Welcome back to Soback Sports, and we're so back with another video or another episode of this podcast. How are we doing, man? How are we doing? Life's been great, man. You know, successful stream uh, yesterday. You know, we got that Grassi raid. That was that was kind of fire. Shout yeah. out to Tom Grassi again. Um, you know, showing Grassi Posse as well for you know yeah. helping us out as well. Um, uh, with you know the views and all that, and you know showing the love as well. I always appreciate that. Um, but yeah, we had a very interesting week of football, and week seven is just right about to be in the books. Um, it's dang, this season's about. We're already in week eight. Almost halfway through the season, man. If not, wait. Technically, we are halfway through the season, almost. But I feel like, I feel like for us, like especially for us, like Bears fans, like the season, I think is gonna get a little longer, starting week eleven. Yeah. When we play our division games, we finally play those. Like, like I think for the Steelers and the Bears, like especially because the Steelers, I feel like have a similar schedule than us. Like, like I think we're the only two teams that like. Don't play a division game until week eleven. Like we're gonna have both our t- like both those teams. Their season is gonna be a lot longer, in my opinion, because all the division games are gonna start. So I'm excited for that. Um, but, I am literally point five six. I don't know if y'all can see this, but I'm point five six <laughs> from winning. <laughs> Baker, please, I swear. But um, yeah. Anyways, that's a sidetrack to that. But yeah, Baker scored a touchdown. He did, yeah, he did. But anyways, um, Wait, no, yeah, story, yeah, story to forty-one. He just threw the forty-one yard, forty-four yard touchdown. Oh, he did. Oh, I won. Oh, perfect. I just got the notification just now. Thank you, yeah. Baker. Forever, you are my favorite. Um, you know, getting that jersey soon. So one day I'll get that jersey. Anyways, enough rambling. Let's get on with our picks from last week. But before we get into that. Again, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you made it this far into the video. It really means a lot to the channel and really helps me create content like this for you guys. So please subscribe. You know, we're already halfway through the season. Let's try to get to 600 subscribers by, you know, I want to say week 15. I think that's pretty pretty generous. Um, let's get to 600 soon. You know, we're very, very close. We're 50 subscribers this way from that. Anyways, let's get on with the picks from last week not too shabby i will say so myself because week seven nine and four if these last two hit these last two hit i think we're we're cooking i think i'm back when it comes to doing pickums. so yeah let's start with the the you know the game that i, I honestly forgot this game happened let's if i'm being really honest but you have anything to add about this yeah um, very, very angry about this game because I have Alvin Kamara on my fancy team. But really, I think the Saints fall off has to be studied. Like, you're two and oh, you go into Jerry's world and like you destroy the Cowboys, you drop like 44 on them, and then you go on a five game losing streak right after. It's just like, what happened to this team? And I know Derek Carr didn't play last the last two weeks, but. Like it's it's bad for the Saints. Everything's going downhill. Um and Camaro, man. Like, how do you let Camaro only get 10 yards of rushing? Like, that's what I I don't understand with the Saints, man, but they're they have a lot of injuries. Their defense is really, really bad now. They can tackle for anything. Um, so yeah, I think the Saints are just not a good team. And then the Broncos played all right. I mean, Javante Williams is really, really good. Um, Bo Nix played solid, didn't score any touchdowns, but he played solid, man. He he did what you needed, you needed him to do. He's a, he's a good game manager. And sometimes in the league, you you need someone like that. So the Broncos, good win, great defense on Spencer Rattler. I don't know if Spencer Rattler is a future for the Saints. He's, I know it's only been two games, but he's not looking good. Um, so Derek Carr better be healthy or else the Saints future is bad. It's, yeah. it's it's bad. Yeah, I kind of, you know, you took the words out of my mouth, to be honest, because 
Yeah, the Saints, you know, from the beginning, I guess, in the preseason, we've been kind of saying, like, you know, they're going to be like an iffy team. They came out of the gates hot, and it turns out that they are the team that we thought they were. And for the Broncos, you know, you have a lot to hope for with, uh, you know, Bo Nix. Bo Nix right now, not playing great football. I mean, not playing the best football brand of football, but playing good enough for wins like that to be above 500 or maintain that boat. So pretty good, solid start for him. I mean, I think, you know, with more games under his belt, I think he'll be solid. Oh, God. Um, Drake May had a pretty solid game, I will say. But the Patriots are just bad. Just bad. <laughs> um, I mean, look, I think if I'm the Patriots, man, I mean, I'm tanking, obviously. Like, mm-hmm. They're not they're not expected to win games this season. So I mean you're in the tank bowl, like the tank bowl is crazy, but it's like them, Tennessee, and Jacksonville. No, not Jacksonville, and the Panthers. So they have the best chances, in my opinion, to get the and Cleveland, obviously. But I don't know. Cleveland might be better now without Deshaun, but uh we'll get to that. But uh I think I don't know. Patriots, I think they have a good quarterback. Drake May is pretty good. I, I really like him a lot. And I think he'll be very, very successful in this league. And then I think Jacksonville, like, they're good at beating bad teams, which is good. I mean, we saw we saw them we saw Trevor Lawrence play really well. We saw Tank Bigsby play really, really well. So if you're a Jags fan, you should be a little happy, but you're playing the Green Bay next week, so I don't know. I yeah. They better get it together. I don't expect them to beat Green Bay, but put up a fight at least. I don't know. Like, but your season's their season's basically over, though. Either way, basically, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of there was a lot of hope in the beginning of the season. You know, Trevor had a decent game. They started off the gate pretty bad. I mean, I thought they were down. I didn't watch this game, but I remember I heard hearing that they were down like ten to zero or something, or like they're down in the beginning and then they clawed their way back and ended up being a blowout. Um, you know, still a pretty big win in London. Um, they're gonna come back to Florida um for the next couple of games. Are they on the bye next week? I'd assume they would be on the bye if they no, play they, play, they play they play Green Bay. Oh, okay, okay. So they're not that's crazy, actually. That's a you know, a whole time zone to adjust. But um yeah, pa- Patriots, you know, Drake may just continue to see what you got with him. And yeah. I mean the future the future is the future's there. Like yeah, he's it's there. He's a solid quarterback. He's doing – I mean, you can't really expect him to win football games with that team. Like, we got to be mm-hmm. fair here. Um, I mean, K.J. Osborne's your number one receiver. I, I really don't expect you to play good. And I feel like scoring three touchdowns against the the uh, the Texans and then scoring, what, two touchdowns? I think he had two touchdowns this game. I'm pretty sure. He had yeah. two touchdowns this game against the Jazz. We're seeing a lot of – good project progression my biggest fear is is he gonna be like a mac jones i hope he's not where he had a really good pretty good rookie season and then played bad after but i think he'll be good though i i, I generally think that drake may is a solid quarterback for them that's good that this year um they didn't trade down or get marvin harrison or something like like people thought they were gonna get like a receiver for the draft so that's good that they got their quarterback for the future um and I feel like Drake may really fits his team. Like he's a solid, solid quarterback, very good pocket awareness, pretty mobile when he uses his legs when he needs to. So I'm I'm excited for what the, what I could see uh what's there to see for the Patriots. Uh for the draft, real quick, I think they should go for maybe a receiver. Maybe trade down and get a receiver or something like that, or get Travis Hunter or something like that. Or I don't even know who they get. Maybe defense alignment. I there's so much options. That team is so depleted. Like Drake yeah. May is like their best player. Yeah. I mean, right now we're trying to root for Carolina to lose games and England to at least <laughs> win one or two more games. So that Carolina I think they will. Pick, they will. The number like, one overall pick. Um, but and the thing is the number one overall pick matters to us because I mean, while we don't have the number one pick anymore, we, thanks to Carolina, we have their number two overall pick this year. So that's a side note. Let's move on to the next couple of games. 
Oh my god. This is the game we streamed. If you guys missed it, you can guys can go check it out. There's a live stream recap there. Uh check it out, you know. But yeah, this is we hope the Texans would win. Um, I think the Texans kind of got beat. <laughs> the Green Bay Packers defense has shown out. Has really, really shown out. You gotta give credit where credit is due to the Green Bay Packers for their defense because you know they're for the past couple seasons, it's been kind of like a you know because Joe Barry was under their as their defensive coordinator. Questions about that turned out to be very vanilla, and it led a lot of teams in games that they shouldn't be. And the Packers led to a lot of losses that they shouldn't have lost. But now that they hired Halfley, I think is his name. Like yeah. you're seeing a lot of like pressure, not really like a lot of people up front in the D line, but more pressure when it comes to the secondary and the second or first level of the defense. So that's pretty like, you know, hats off to uh, Halfley, but hats, not hats off to the Houston Texans because good Lord, like they could not protect CJ Stroud for anything. CJ Stroud had a poor game has worst of his career uh, in terms of yards. But you know, that kind of begs the question. Like I think their record is kind of, I mean, or at least their play as of recently has been kind of alarming. Um, they're losing close games that they shouldn't be, or like, sorry, they're winning close games that shouldn't be even games. Um, and like this was probably a win. They, the, the Green Bay Packers in this game, let's talk about it. They tried to give this game to the Houston Texans. But the Houston Texans just kept denying that opportunity. They just kept shooting themselves in the foot. And, you know, CJ Stroud wasn't protected. He made some mistakes. Um, he couldn't get any, the offense couldn't just get anything going. Um, Joe Mixon was pretty much their offense. So all I got to say, hats off to the Houston, I mean, to the Green Bay Packers defense. And Jordan Love did pretty good too. I'll say this, man. Jordan Love is Brett Favre. And that's good. I mean, Brett I Favre is like, good. that's really, really good. He Okay, Jordan Love's the type of guy where he will throw like two interceptions, but then he will make up by scoring four touchdowns. Exactly. Like, so, like, he's really good. Um, hate to say it, but he's he's actually really good. Um, Solid game for him. He had three passing touchdowns, two interceptions. My thing with the Texans is, like, they're a very talented team. And, yeah, you could say, like, oh, they didn't have Nico. But if that's your excuse and you can't win football games against good teams when you're like you don't have Nico and when you still have Tank Dell, Dalton Schultz, uh, Stefan Diggs, Joel Mixon, like you and you have a really good defense in Will Anderson Jr. and Daniel Hunter as your defense and then Stingley. Like I can name so many people, but they have a lot of they have a good defense. You're not gonna win football game. You're not gonna like be a serious contender. I still think they're a good team. But the Texans need to improve, man. Like, CJ Stroud was just, he played probably his worst game of his career against the Packers. He seemed so frustrated the whole game. I don't know what's going on, but he looks frustrated in the sidelines. And I'll be honest right now, I think CJ Stroud and the Texans, they will probably bounce back. But <sighs> the Packers are, they're just good. They're a good they're team, really man. Good. I, I can't yeah. I can't even say anything bad about them because they're a good team. Like like I think that we have a chance to beat them, but I gotta see us beat the commanders and like if we enter the Packers game seven two, I'll be pretty confident. But going back to this, I think the Packers Matt LaFleur is just a really, really good coach. His scheming is so, so good. Every, like he doesn't have the most talented receivers and he makes it work. Yeah. He makes it work. It doesn't matter who you have. Bo Melton is catching balls. Uh, okay, catching footballs. Uh, for Jordan Love, it's not like Jordan Love has like CJ Stroud's weapons. He doesn't. Jaden Reed's a pretty good solid receiver, but Christian Watson, Romeo Dobbs, Bo Melton, Heath, Tucker Craft, like like his scheming is so so good. We got to talk about. Is, hold on, All right, before you get to that. Buccaneers wide receiver Chris Godwin is being carted off the field with 43 seconds left in it. Why are they still playing their starters? 
Why? What are they doing? They were down by a lot. Why are they doing this? All right, this is the game. This is the we're, the game is going on right now, or is about to finish. And you already yeah, have my Kevin hurt. But anyways, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. We'll get, sorry. Yeah. I'll say this, man. The Packers are going to be a very, very dangerous team. And the Texans have a lot of questions, man. That's all I got to say. Like, CJ Stroud needs to figure it out, man. And I'm saying this right now, hot take here. If we didn't play the Texans week, week two, they would have lost. To us? Yeah. Mm, I see. What I'll you're tell you why. They played Caleb Williams in the second game, and we basically our defense was like really, really good. They they got they got clamped on the offense. So like I feel like we like, the way they're playing, they're not playing good, man. Oh, that's all I gotta say. Yeah. I know I ran into a little bit too much, but like I don't think the Texans are good. I don't think they're they're a good team. They're just not a contender in my opinion. Until they beat a really good still team. A contender, it's just that they just have a lot to figure out. Um, they have the talent. It just for some reason they're just not utilizing it as well as you they know. Could. But you you can have the talent all you want, Bo. But like if you don't win, if you're not winning against good teams, you're not a contender. Like like for example, like I don't think the Bears are contenders, but because we haven't beaten good teams, but I think we're a good team. We just haven't been playoff contender teams yet, so okay. I just—that's what I think about the Texans. Like, I don't think like they can beat up on bad teams, and they, they probably beat some solid teams, but I don't think they're a contender yet. That's all I'm saying. Okay, this game, honestly, I'm not really like, I don't know. Wait, <coughs> I picked them, yes, yes, and they lost it pretty badly. Um, yeah, Seattle and Falcons are now four and three. I'll um, say this, man, mm-hmm. with the injuries that the 49ers are having. Like next week against the Cowboys, like they don't got Brandon Ayuk or Debo Samuel, so I think the Cowboys have a chance to win that game. If the Seahawks start winning games, which they are, and they're the number one seed right now in the West, there's a chance that the Seahawks win the division. They probably can. Like I genuinely think they could. Cardinals not ready. Yeah. Rams are banged up. 49ers are banged up. This is a perfect chance for Geno Smith and Seattle Seahawks to win the division, man. And I think they proved it. I think the Falcons really underperformed against this team. Really thought that it was an easy win. And that's just something that's something with Seattle. Like they're not an easy team. You might have to give it your all against this team. This team, Geno Smith has I think what the most completions in the league right now. Like he's a solid quarterback in the league. And whether you think he's a future or not, you still gotta take this team seriously. They got a great wide receiver in Redwins. I like the coach in McDonald. Their defense is pretty solid. Like, I think the Falcons are still good, but they, they got to play better than this, man. Yeah. I mean, oh, God. Oh, yikes. Oh, no. That's bad. What? Like, Godwin, like, completely, his leg is like, his like foot is like backwards. Like Gordon Hayward? Yeah. It's like Gordon Hayward. It's like oh, that's, that's season ending. That's season uh, ending. Yikes! Yeah, bro. It's a compound Ho- fracture for sure. I think. Hopefully, uh, hopefully he comes back healthy, man. I mean, for next season, but Dude, this is such a bad way to end the game, man. All right, I don't know what the Bucks are doing, but okay. Falcons. If that happens, well, Falcons are winning the division. Yeah, Falcons just essentially won that division at this point because if unless, they, unless they Mike, have Evans I'm... and Godwin. No, Evans, I think is fine. He's Evans fine. will be there, but Godwin is like a like a safety blanket as a wide receiver. But anyway, I'll say this. I'll say this, Leonard, because like it just kind of re- relates to this. Evans got to be Superman, but we'll we'll get to that. Yeah. Um, Buffalo versus Tennessee. Buffalo. Tennessee made it a game in the beginning, and then Buffalo just was like, "All right, it's enough fun. Let's just get this over with." Free D Hop, please. <laughs> Free D Hop, man. I had him on my fantasy team, and he's just. I, I, I can tell he doesn't want to be there, man. I can tell he doesn't want to be there. And I don't know why he would ever want to go to the Tennessee Titans, but I get it. They give you the bag. bag. You got the bag like, there. But why? Like You're not like, getting any targets. Talking? You're getting ne- one reception for negative two yards. Like, what are you sure. doing? Yeah, but Buffalo, hey, Amari Cooper, first touchdown. <laughs> Yes, you know they're gonna be good. Buffalo's gonna be good. I mean, they're winning the division now. Like the Jets suck. I mean, Tua's coming back, by the way. But 
But uh, I mean, Dolphins maybe can maybe come back with Tua and play good. But I just think the Bills. It's it's basically the Bills division, man. That's all I gotta say. Yeah. Vikings, Detroit. Hmm. What a game that was. <laughs> uh, we watched that game too. We were, we were like watching it side by side. Um, I'll say this, man. The the Vikings almost won this game. Like the Detroit Lions almost gave them that game, and like that's true. I don't know. The Detroit Lions, I didn't like how they finished that game. I mean, I like how they finished it, obviously. Like, they got the field goal, but you had it in the bag. You were up by so much, and the fact that the Vikings almost won the game is really, really bad. I do think that they need to get someone else for the edge rusher position because if Aiden Hutchins, I think Aiden Hutchins is out for the season. Um, he is out for the season. Yeah, they definitely need someone else uh, to help. So, and you're basically, you don't want to take this, Super Bowl contender, uh, like contendership, like for granted. You want to go and try, right? So maybe go trade for Max Crosby. Uh, maybe I Hassan Reddick's out off the table now because he re-signed with the Jets. But you go maybe sign for like Miles Garrett, something, someone really good. I hope they don't get that, but for the Lions' sake, they they probably do need one like that. Maybe give up first rounder for him for them or like. I don't know. You, you probably had to give yeah, up two. Go all but. in. You got to like actually do, actually go all in. Like Jerry, you know, don't Take do the no. Jerry's all in. But yeah, I I think. But then the Vikings, like I've been saying, Sam Donald's a pumpkin, man. I know he played solid, but he's a pumpkin. I, I've been saying it for so long. Um, it's good that he started five and zero. Best best moment of his career. But I think this is the I think this is the time when the Vikings start to fall off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dang, but yeah, um, it's it's kind of crazy, yeah. Like the fact that these two teams are powerhouses now. It's like, I mean, now the Vikings are same record as the Lions, so the Lions winning helps us in the grand scheme of things. Um, yeah. but yeah, I mean, listen, the the Vikings are bound to lose at one point. Um, I don't think they're gonna lose consistently. They might lose a decent amount of games, but I don't think it's gonna be like. You know, earth shattering that they lose from now on. They had a run. They won games that they should have, or they they weren't technically should have win. But we'll see. We'll see. I mean, Lions did their thing. You know, Dan Campbell can be a little bit overzealous and try too much things. But yeah, yeah I mean, For sure. I mean, I, I I think like he needs to stop like going for fourth down every time. Like I mean, it's it, there's 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 some rhyme to his reason to that. I mean, a lot of times the analytics but it, will say, but it's my like thing, my thing is like your cost. You gave the Vikings seven free points. They were already in the red zone, right? I mean, like, close to the red zone. Like, like I think the day he stops doing that, like like meaning like he stops like always going in for fourth down, actually playing the game seriously. Mm-hmm. Is the day the Lions will actually be a really, really good team and that can actually win the Super Bowl. Because it cost him the NFC Championship last year. When is he going to learn that going for fourth down all the time it does, is not a winning formula? For special teams, trick plays. Um, yeah, I mean, look. like We saw Andy Reid also do it. It didn't work. But he doesn't do it all the time. He's a smart coach. Like Dan Campbell's a good coach, but he sometimes is not being smart here. That's what I'm trying to say. I get it. I know what you mean. All right. Oh, God. Sa- Saquon revenge game. I guess that's all I really had to say. There's really nothing else to say. Saquon I got to say this, man. Revenge. I think I think it's time. Like My thing with the Giants, man, I, I really don't have anything to say with the Eagles. Like They played a really good game. Like, Saquon got his revenge. They're, they, in my opinion, the Eagles are winning the division now. Because I just don't think, uh, the, I don't think the commanders are going to sustain the success. Um, But here's the thing. I think the Giants, they need a new quarterback, man. Like, they should have, they should have this year, in my opinion, like, they should have drafted JJ McCarthy. You had him available. And I get it. I get it. You are neighbors. Like, that, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cute. But you'd rather have a quarterback, right? Because yeah. Drake May, like, for example, like, they like the Patriots could have drafted Marvin Harrison or Malik Neighbors if they really, really wanted to, 
and waited on a quarterback next year. But they didn't. They went for the quarterback because you need a quarterback. And yes, they can suck the first year without any weapons, but at least if you know you have a guy that can maybe throw the ball a little bit to some decent receivers, then next year you can go build the team around him. My thing is Wait, the, the next before year. We that actually, hold on, I forgot. I, I forgot to mention this when we talked about Detroit. But breaking. Oh, wait, hold on. Whoops. Ooh, I messed it up. One second. I got some breaking. Well, not really breaking news, but uh, Jamison Williams is facing a two-game suspension uh, for performing enhancing substances policy for violation of that. Yeah, I mean, he was wait, pretty who, solid. Who do they play? Ooh, who do they play? Lions. Um, oh yeah, I mean they can they can rest him for the Titans game. That's a free win, and then Titans and Packers. Packers, yeah. Packers are gonna be tough. Packers will be tough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you know they need all the weapons they can. But um, but yeah, I just wanted to quickly show that. Yeah, Saquon got his revenge. Uh, Giants have a lot of things they really need to get fixed. Um, they got to clean house some at some point or do something. Um. And kind of, I uh, they have to really, I mean, maybe start Devito or Drew Lock at this point. Um, yeah, no, for sure. Eagles have their own issues, but it's masked due to the fact that they have Saquon and high end talent, and they're facing mid competition. Uh, Eagles I, aren't I, good this year, but I just think that like Daniel, like I'm, I'm going back to this point, Daniel Jones. I I never understood why they like even after last year. Like, why they decided to not draft a quarterback? What was the reasoning? Like, do you know the reasoning? Like, I mean, their GM, if you saw Hard Knocks, like, they thought about it. Even the, his kids thought about it and told them to think about it. And then they ended up, you know, going with. He's like, neighbors. let's be honest. Let's be honest. This year's draft class, do you think it's good? Yeah, I mean, so far it is. I mean, it's not like we're guaranteed that they're going to have success. They're having success. No, 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 no. Not 2024 draft class, 2025 draft class, like the oh, next draft class. That's, it, that's, it, that's a little bit of a very gray area. Um, no, no, no. Like, okay, let me ask you a question. Like, like this arguably, right, was the, supposed to be like the best quarterback class we've seen in a while, right? And mm-hmm. you know your quarterback is Daniel Jones, and you don't decide to pull the trigger and get – and you have a top six pick in the draft, and you don't decide to pick a quarterback – is just nuts to me. I I just didn't understand that because I get it. You want to get him weapons, but Daniel Jones is not winning you anything. You got to understand that realization here. Like, is Carson Beck going to save you? No, he's not going to save you. Is Shador Sanders? Like, I don't think the the next quarterbacks that are coming in the draft class are going to be as good as what we saw in 2024. That's all I got to say. Like, even Michael Penix could have been good. We don't even know, because I will. I guess we'll never know because I don't know. I don't yeah. know. I mean, the Giants are just a lost cause, man. Yeah, I want to wanna move on. Yeah, sure. You want to talk about the Bengals and Browns while I settle something real quick? All right. I think the Bengals guys. Um, they're. They play okay. So going to this game, I thought the Browns had a chance to win this because Joe Burrow against the Browns has not been really good. But you know, this year the the Browns have sucked. Deshaun Watson just not a good quarterback. Look, I'll, first of all, I want to say this to the, all the Cle- Cleveland Browns fans: y'all are sick. I <laughs> cheering for your own quarterback. I know if you don't like him, I know he's done a lot of off court, uh, off, um, off field, a lot of bad stuff off field. Um, I'm not going to get into that. You do not ever cheer when a man is down and a man got an injury. Tearing your Achilles is no joke. And it just reminded me of when Kevin Durant tore his Achilles and the Raptors fans were cheering. It just It's a sick thing that we we saw and witnessed. Um, and it's also a sick thing that what the Browns fans are uh, did. You don't ever cheer for someone when they're down. And... Honestly, I hope I hope y'all see y'all season's bad now. I, I do. I really do. Because I don't like Deshaun Watson whatsoever. But 
to do that to a grown man, man, after what he's been through, like when it kind when it comes to football, his adversity he's gone through, it's just it's just sick, man. Um, you can say he's trash, you can boo him when he's playing bad football, but when he's down, you should never cheer for a guy like that. Now going into football, um, I think Joe Burrow played really really well. Um, he had uh, two touchdowns to T Higgins and one no one to T Higgins and one to Jamar Chase. Look, I think the Bengals could be back, man. They they could be. But I need to see more. I need to see them beat a good team. But it's they're playing solid. I mean, they the thing is the Bengals, they've only beaten bad teams. They've beaten the Giants, the, the Panthers, and the Browns. So you're beating tank bowl people, like contenders. But it's a good win. Always good to beat a division uh rival. So you can't really get mad. But I think the Bengals, I think the Browns. They're probably going to get the number one pick now. I don't know. Maybe Jameis Winston helps them. I always will cheer for Jameis Winston because he's a great quarterback. But even Jameis Winston agrees with me, man. Like he said that you never, ever cheer for a guy when they're down, man. Sick. Screw the Browns fans, man. That, that That's disgusting, man. I would never, ever, ever, ever cheer for Caleb Williams to get injured, man. Like that's just sick. I, I guess so. I mean... I know what you mean. You're 100 percent right. Uh, in that, Man, I don't case. care. If, I don't care if Deshaun Watson did bad off the court, uh, uh, off field stuff. You just never ever cheer for that. But you continue. Yeah, I mean, listen. Yeah, I mean, you're you're right. I mean, there's really no point. I mean, I I'm like, oh, it happened. Uh, anyways, like that's kind of what my mentality was. It's like I wasn't like you know empathetic or anything like that towards it. I mean, cheering and all that is kind of a little too much to me. Never do that. Should never do that in the first place. Um, but, you know, do I care, you know, for what this? I, I mean, at least I won't cheer, but I won't care because he's a bad person. So, okay, he got injured. All right. I mean, uh, okay, sucks. You feel a little bad, man. Like, tearing your Achilles I mean, is not a joke. Yeah, I agree. But it's like, at least, listen. I'll give him that. Give, give him that. Like, yes, it sucks to have a that, but he's done too much, man. It's it's just like I can't forgive all that stuff that he done now off the field too. But then again, you know, I'm yeah, not we'll saying see. that he does like, like I'm not gonna say like you know he deserve like, he, like I don't know. But it's a little it's a little bit of a touchy subject, I guess. So let's leave it at that. Um, but yeah, I mean, Bengals did their thing. I think they might be back. Um. Oh God! Wait, I mean, the do you even want to talk about this? Do you really want to not talk really, about not really. But I mean, I mean, maybe there's some Dolphins fans and Colts fans watching. So let's talk yeah, about it a little bit. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, yeah. I think, I think. Look, Richardson's a train wreck, man. I'll say this: he is a train wreck, and I'm being so serious. If the Colts have a bad season, which I don't think they will, because they're four and three, do you pull the trigger in 2026? Not next year, but do you pull the trigger 2026 if he continues to play bad? Like at one point, do you put in Flacco for the rest of the season? Okay, let me because I think I think I think Flacco gives you a better chance of winning. You're point right. Mm -hmm. He gives you a better chance of winning. Right. So I think right now, like you kind of bring up a good point. <laughs> The Colts are kind of in a dilemma right now where they have to choose between two things. One hand, you have can Anthony Richardson reach the potential that he has? And because we still need to see if he's worth it, you know? On the other hand, you have Shane Steichen, you have a pretty solid offensive core, you have a decent defensive core. It's time to win as well. But then again, Shane Steichen is the one who has to balance that right now. Being able to find a way to utilize Anthony Richardson, see what he's capable of. And listen, Anthony Richardson's sample size of games is very limited. Even if you go back into high school, even if you go back to college, I think there's a stat where it says that including the pros, including high school, including like college, Bros only played like 20 games or 17 games total in his career. So that sample size. He got drafted fourth overall? 
Yeah, because A, the only reason he got drafted fourth overall because of the raw talent he had, and he was a project. He was essentially a project that Indy and teams were in during mock drafts looked at as like how Trey Lance was limited amount of games, but drafted pretty high because of the potential raw talent that they have and potentially they can develop him. Does that work all the time? Probably not. But the Colts took the opportunity, took the chance when it was a 2022 draft where the quarterback's class was, oh, wait, no, sorry, 2023 class when Stroud and Bryce Young were there where they took a chance on him. And right now, it's not looking too good. But he does show flashes here and there, but it's very, very rare. Um, he does have the running ability. He does. But he also does, little... but he also does show flashes of stupidity. Well, yeah, because you know, to, like, like when it comes to the ends, like his, like his decision making is so, so bad. Like I, I, I've been trying to tell people that Richards has not been a good quarterback, man. He was right. not a, he, was, he was not the right pick. Um, I get it. I know what you mean, but I'm just saying, like, I think it's, I think right now, like he got it wasn't his choice to get picked fourth. All right, let's remember that too. Because while he was picked fourth, Indiana took a chance on him. They have to develop him. Like when you pay, when you like look at a quarterback, right? Or you look at a person that's got drafted to an organization. You gotta no, remember no, no. Okay, okay. Well, we can say you gotta like that. remember that the organization is also, you know, it's their responsibility fifty percent to develop them as well. Because uh, then why did why did you draft them in the first place? All right, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you exactly why. I will not say it's the organization's fault. I will not say it's Shane Sykin's fault because I've seen Shane Sykin do what he can do to Jalen Hurts. I've seen him develop a guy who's like Anthony Richardson to Jalen Hurts. And look at what Jalen Hurts is without Shane Sykin. Uh, can worse. I rebuttal that real quick? Yeah. Um, the difference between Shane Sykin doing it for Jalen Hurts is that Jalen Hurts already had a coordinator. I forgot what his name was, but <clears throat> Shane Steichen was before. Like when Shane Steichen came in, Jalen Hurts already had a season and a half or or season under. No, 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 but, he finished his rookie no, I season. Know, I I know that, but is Shane okay? Before you go on, is Shane Steichen a good head coach and a good offensive minded guy? Yes or yeah. no? Yeah. Okay. Shane Steichen almost made the playoffs last year. With Gardner Minshew. And I think Gardner Minshew is a solid quarterback. Like, he's not going to blow your minds off. He's not winning you a Super Bowl. He's not winning you a playoff game. But he can play football. He, he can he can be a starter in the league. Mm. He's decent. He's a backup, but he's decent. So, here's what I think, man. I think Shane Steichen is a good coach. I just don't think that he works. I, I just don't think that. Anthony Richardson is going to be a good quarterback in the league. And I don't think he's a good, talent, talented player. And I think the Colts, they got to they gotta look at the hard mirror. You got great talent around. You just have a bad quarterback, man. And I think you just have to have to realize, like, okay, what do you guys want to do? Like, we do you punt on Richardson and maybe say, okay, the project failed. We tried. He's not good. Let's go with Flacco and go draft a quarterback. Or you just ride with Richardson for the end of the season. Let him tank for you. Like, the problem is they're not even tanking. That's a crazy part. But, like, at some point, you have to understand that Richardson's not the guy. He's not. And you have to understand that in 2026, I don't think they're going to punch on them in 2025 because I don't think the quarterbacks are that good enough. They're probably going to give him another year. but. I think in 2026, that class could be really good. It could be. So you might have to go for a quarterback. Mm. I see what you mean. Um, all right, anyways, let's go to the next. We have to go through a game. We were approaching the 40-minute mark. Um, so Los Angeles Rams is a pretty nothing burger game, in my opinion. I barely I the, watched this. I think the Raiders kicked five field goals. I, I wouldn't be surprised to be really honest with you. Um, Minshew was benched for, a, or was that last game? 
That was Matt's game. And then Mitchell okay, can't okay. play this game. Yeah, because Raiders are um Aiden O'Connell got hurt, I'm pretty sure. They're definitely um, drafting the quarterback. Yeah. Um Brock Bowers is still good. I think that's their pretty solid weapon. Just they're not getting the targets as much as they would like to. Uh Rams, they're going they're really missing oh, sorry, uh Las Vegas is really missing Devontae, even though they really didn't utilize him properly. <laughs> but Los Angeles Rams, you know, it was a get back game. Get back, you know, you know, it was an easy win. Try to get as much wins as possible. Your team's starting to get a little bit healthier. Um, Puka hopefully is back soon because you know it sucks because the Rams aren't this bad. Generally, aren't this bad. Like they have Sean McVay, right? But it doesn't help with, if you have an offensive-minded coach or a really offensive guru of a coach, and you have no weapons to sh- to help you help Stafford. Um, I mean, Cooper Cup's right back. Yeah. So as soon as they get weapons, I think they should be fine. And then Commanders. I think, think uh huh. Sorry. I think Cooper Cup's coming back, and I think Puka's coming back week ten. Yeah. And the Ram- and the Cardinals. The Cardinals just won seventeen fifteen. Interesting. Dang. Herbert had three. Herbert had like around like three hundred something yards and didn't Lost. score a touchdown. Yeah, he didn't score a single touchdown. I have him. All field goals. Hey, I mean, 350 I lost, yards. I lost my fantasy league because of uh, Kyler Murray couldn't pass the ball to Trey McBride, bro. Yeah, at least he gave it, it to him. I, punt, I, I don't really care about fantasy anymore. But, um, yeah, I think the Rams are a solid team. I mean, I think what, I mean, they, they're just having a bad record because they don't have, like, their players. So, um, yeah. once Puka comes back, once uh, Cooper Cup is back healthy too, I think he'll be back next week uh, for Thursday Night Football. Uh, I think they're they're gonna be solid, but I feel like the Rams are in a in a weird situation too. Because like, how long do you think Stafford's playing? Like that's one thing, and nothing is like, yeah, that's why actually that's my big thing. It's how long Stafford's playing? But for this season, I think they're, they're fine. And if they can get their players healthy in time, they have a chance to win the division or like maybe compete with like a wild card spot. The Rams are that they're pretty talented of a team. So yeah. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Um, Panthers, Commanders, really not much to talk about. Um, Carson Mario, Beck, yeah. Carson Beck, you are a Carolina Panther. <laughs> or, or Quinn Ewers. No, Quinn Ewers. No, he, the guy got benched for Arch Manning. No, well, it's because he got hurt. No, 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 no. Against uh, Georgia. Oh, really? He, Arch Manning played? Yeah. I didn't realize that. Okay. Um... Or Shador. Yeah, Panthers. Yeah, you're cooked, bro. That's all I'm gonna say. Commanders. Hopefully, yeah, Jane Daniels is all right. Um, it, it was uh, he apparently a rib injury. Apparently, came out negative. Um, so that's a pretty good sign. It's just that I think according to Dan Quinn today, he said it was like week to week. Um, so that's gonna be interesting to see or follow. Um, yeah, the Bears are playing them next week. So I think they really didn't care about this game whatsoever. It was a pretty easy win. They're five and two. Let's see what they got. Yeah. I really have nothing else to add. Yeah. Chiefs, Niners. Want to take this one? Yeah. Kyle Shanahan. Andy Reid's your daddy, man. He is. You're you're 0 and 8 against him, man. Cause say say dad to at this point, man, because he's basically that your father, man. He 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 owns you. Patrick Mahomes, he owns you too. He owns you. It doesn't matter if you have Jimmy Garoppolo as your quarterback. It doesn't matter if Paul Purdy is your quarterback. It doesn't matter if you have a CMC. It doesn't matter if you're Jordan Mason. It doesn't matter if you have Brandon Ayuk. It doesn't matter if you have Debo Samuel. It don't matter. And I don't want to hear about the injuries because the Chiefs are also I mean, dealing with the injuries. They have way more, though. I don't think you can really make apples to apples. No, but... no, 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 no. I will not let you say this because Chiefs this season, they don't have Rashi Rice for the rest of the season. They don't have... Pacheco, they don't have, um, they don't have Hollywood Brown. They they also lost their Justin Watson, uh, mm-hmm. in that game. I'm sorry, man. They they should have they should have won this game. Like they were, this was their chance. This was your chance. You ain't you ain't be, you ain't beating them in the Super Bowl ever, man. So, I mean, this is a heartbreaker for the 49ers. I feel like I feel really bad for them because like. It is. It, it just kind of feels like how we are with the Packers. It's like 
at least it's a little bit more competitive, but it's like no matter how much we do, no matter how much our team gets better, I mean, I hopefully this year is different for us, but no matter how much different it is, like how much different our team is, how, how much better it is, and how much worse they look, we're always going to lose. And it, it sucks. I mean, I feel bad for the 49ers, but it's just, it's just a harsh truth in reality, man. Yeah, I see what you mean. But, yeah, I mean, listen, the Niners are dealing with a lot when it comes to injuries, but, you know, once they get healthy... Everybody's doing, everybody's but this is doing next level, injury. dude. Like CMC has been out for the entire year so far. Um, Mace has been good. You, you lost, you lost. Uh, what's his face? Uh, Ayuk. Um, who else did you lose? I felt like you lost a decent amount. It's like an infirmary. In the, I feel like they just have that curse. I think the Niners have to trade for a receiver now. You gotta go get like Mike Williams, or you gotta go get like a Cooper Cup, or uh, Cooper Cup is not available, but. Um, or like or like T Higgins. Yeah. All right. Anyways, let's move on to Sunday night football with the Pittsburgh Steelers and New York Jets. You can take this one. I already said a lot of my TikTok, but you can say this one. Oh, I hate hated this game, man. I hated this game. <laughs> you know, guys, I've been I've been I've been I've been like uh very, very supportive of the Steelers. It's not because I'm a. I like the Steelers as a team. I don't like them as an association. It's not anything like that. It's because of the of one man, and that's Justin Fields. I was excited for him to go and play really, really well with his team. And the fact of the matter is, they benched him like before the game started. So I was like, okay, let Russ cook. I guess right. Let's see if he's good. And I, in my mind, I thought Russ was bad. But I mean, before the game started. And throughout the first quarter, I was like, okay, yeah, he's he's trash. Put in Justin Fields. Yeah. Well, Pickens started to actually, you know, run his routes. He actually started to be not lazy when running his routes. And he caught crazy catches. Pat Fryermuth caught like a diving one-handed catch like Superman. I mean, Arthur Smith, where was this with Justin Fields? Where was I, – I, I don't understand. Where was this with Justin Fields, man? Like, do not tell me he does not have the arm talent because he does have the arm talent. I, I'm so sick and tired of people saying that Russell Wilson is better than Justin Fields. He's not better than Russell uh, than Justin Fields. I think it's a huge mistake for the Pittsburgh Steelers, man. I know you guys got the win, but let's be honest, man. You're, you guys are screwed for the future because Russell Wilson is not going to play like this consistently. You're, you're going to have to pay a 35-year-old man when you could pay a 25-year-old man and have a, uh, a great, like, you know, like you have a better chance of winning in the future with Justin Fields and building something rather than keeping Russell Wilson. And now a last thing before I let you talk so bad, I think I just I don't know, man. I, I I'm in lost words. I I was gonna say something, but I mean, I just think that Justin Fields should have been the starter, man. I I think he brings so much more to the offense than what Russell Wilson does. He he allows the t- the opposing defense to worry about running his running ability. And I would really like Tomlin to use him yesterday in the red zone. He's been really, really good this season in the red zone. So again, I think I've been saying this, obviously he's my favorite player. I want to say this a lot, but I've been saying it when he was in Chicago and I'm going to say it here. And when he's on Pittsburgh Steelers, he's a great quarterback. He's a great talent. You just got to put him in a great situation. And he is, he, I think he is in a good situation. You just got to trust him. And I feel like Arthur Smith never trusted him or Mike Tomlin never trusted him. And he never got a fair chance. And it's it's just it's sad to see. And if Russell Wilson gets balling, I said this to Sobek privately, man. His career might be over and it's sad, man. It, it's it, it's sad. Screw Russell Wilson, man. I I disagree with that last few statements that you made. First of all, I don't think his season is career is over i think he'll get opportunities down the line where where who knows you never know man you never know but um and i think that you know justin fields has a lot lots to work on he's a project how still. how he was four and two with four the and two. do you know that there's other other aspects to a football team it wasn't necessarily all justin Fields. okay yes he was i don't think him. i don't i don't think yesterday was all on russell wilson though that's the big no one difference. Said it was all on Russell Wilson. 
I think Wilson played exactly how Fields played, but he he won on prime time, and we're we're all gloating him. We're all gloating him. We're not acting like Justin Fields just dropped thirty two on the Raiders too. This, but I'm it not wasn't so- necessarily him that dropped thirty two. It was it was okay. It wasn't it wasn't uh Russell Wilson who dropped thirty seven. Man, he has two passing touchdowns. Okay, Justin Fields had two rushing touchdowns. That game. Okay. And yeah. George Pickens dropped a touchdown at the end. Like I'm just saying this. I'm sick and tired of people saying that J- Russell Wilson is better than him. He's not. No he is not. He is. He's a pedestrian I mean, like, talented. Like, listen, listen, listen. I think that right now, Thomas is just trying to see what they have with Russell You're not Wilson. winning the Super Bowl with him, dude. You know, uh, no, 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 screw, screw Super Bowl, bro. You need because the, the Steelers are never winning a Super Bowl. Like, they're not. Like, Tomlin, he, 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 he gets credit for just going above 500. I, I don't care about that. But my, yeah, problem with, I mean, my problem with Tomlin, real quick, is he cares about going f- above 500. That's cute. But he's lost five consecutive playoff wins, playoff games. He's been terrible in the playoffs. 11 0 started the season, his best season, ended the season terribly, got bounced out with B- Baker Mayfield, got destroyed against the Bills la- uh, last year, got destroyed against the Chiefs uh, in two years ago. I uh, know three years ago. Like Tomlin has never proven that he can win in the playoffs, and I just don't understand why he all of a sudden thinks that Russell Wilson is going to save this team and he's going to win them playoff games. It's not going to happen. You should build around Justin Fields. Don't care about the season. Build around a young young guy and care about your future. Tomlin, all he cares about is his career. He cares about oh, I need to go to the playoffs and I'm just going to get bounced out in the first round. That's what the Steelers are. I'm sorry. That that just that's just how I feel, man. Yeah, I mean. It worked at least. Like at least this decision worked. And we're and the and the Jets are not a good team. I'm sorry, they're the same team as the Raiders. They are. They have two wins. That each team has two wins. Mm. Actually, the Raiders have beaten a better team. They beat the Ravens. Who That's are the Jets true. beating? Who have the Jets beaten? The Titans, the Patriots, the two worst teams in the league. Like I'm sorry, the he's the, the Jets suck. I'm I, and is this is Devontae Adams' first game. And if it wasn't for Beanie Bishop getting two interceptions and one of the one of the touchdowns Russell Wilson had was in the one yard line, it, the the Jets could have won this game. And Russell Wilson, if I didn't see Russell Wilson carry this team or carry the offense, he got so lucky yesterday. And I don't see this. I'm putting a bold prediction right now. The New York Giants will expose him on prime time, and Justin Fields will be the starter against the Commanders after the bye. I'm telling you, I right can now. see that. I can see that happening, but because we'll see. I, time will tell. Time will tell. I, I that's why I say it. Justin is not over for him yet. Oh, um, no, no, I don't think it's over for him if he gets a chance to start for the Steelers. It, I think if Russell Wilson continues the season as a starter, it's over. I see, but um, these yeah, last I don't two want, games, I don't want it to be over though, but it's sadly, yeah. Cardinals came back. I didn't really get to watch this game. Really, but I watched the majority of this one. Baltimore Ravens just came back. Like this was not a close game. It was a lot of garbage time. Yeah, points. I think. No, 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 I I agree with you, man. Baker Mayfield. They they honestly lost the game forty-one to eighteen, man. Mm-hmm. But I think but, that, I think that, I don't know. I the Ravens are just good. <laughs> they're they're, they're, they're really great. good. They're really good. Lamar Jackson's MVP, man. Derrick Henry and Lamar Jackson is a tandem that who they're good enough. They're good enough to go to the AFC championship again. Yeah. And lose to the Chiefs. That's that's, that's what's gonna happen. But they're a good team. They can go Lamar can go get his third Super Bowl. Uh, uh, third, sorry, third um Yo, uh, third. It's, it's only, only a, a dis- receiving, receiving touchdown. Oh, okay, okay. Derrick Henry only, had a receiving touchdown. Okay. It's only a dis- uh yeah, it's the injury for Chris Godwin is a dislocated ankle. Oh yikes! But yeah, um, that's what I'm trying to say. I think the Ravens are gonna be a good team. They're probably gonna lose the AFC Championship. It's gonna be Chiefs Ravens again, and it. Yeah, I think they're gonna lose in the AFC Championship. But I think they're a good team. Lamar's probably gonna win MVP though. It's basically as easy as that. And Baker Mayfield, I mean, man, he. I don't know. He, the the Bucks are screwed because they probably don't have. Ba- uh, they don't have. Um, Godwin or Evans, I think, for maybe next week. So, I mean, probably Godwin for a long time, but Evans probably out for like maybe two or three weeks. So, we'll see. Yeah. Chargers, like, I don't know. 
I didn't watch this game. Yeah, Chargers scored like five field goals. Uh, and then Kyler Murray had a rushing touchdown and a passing touchdown to like some nobody. He always likes to target nobodies, but like when he has Trey McBride and Marvin Harrison, he's not going to target them. Like, I don't know. Maybe they're um, covered. So maybe, I don't know. But I think the Cardinals are a decent team. They're going to win some games, but they're going to be like a four win or five win team. But the Chargers, I was surprised they lost this game. I thought the Chargers would win this, but I mean, Jim Harbaugh. The problem with Jim Harbaugh and Justin Herbert is, man, like Justin Herbert is a guy who needs to throw the ball a lot. And I know today he did a lot, but they need to like surround him with weapons, man. He has no weapons at all. You trade a Keenan Allen, you don't have Mike Williams anymore, but like, he has no one. I mean, McConkey's good, but like, and Quinn Johnson's getting a little better, but the team sucks. Like, one of the receivers literally fumbled in the end zone. Like, you can't do that. So I think the the Chargers probably they probably have a chance to make the playoffs because the AFC, like I said before, is pretty weak. But I don't know. I got the. I don't know. They could maybe be a seven seed. Yeah, I agree. But um, yeah, I guess that concludes the pickums and all that. But um, any last comments or anything you want to really talk about? Nah, not really, man. I mean, it's just a crazy week of football. Um, yeah, excited for Bears football is back. Yeah, finally um, this week. But um, folks, thank you. We're guys gonna have again. a we're gonna have a, a big podcast on Wednesday, guys. So just tune into that. We're gonna have like yeah. three guests on this uh, on this uh, podcast. So it's gonna be a a crowded house. Uh, it's gonna be a full house. So yeah, I, yeah. I tried. I try. I tried with that poem. I, I tried. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. Yeah, appreciate it. Well, folks, thank you guys again so much for tuning in. If you made it this far into the video, appreciate it a lot. The watch time helps with the algorithm and it helps us, you know, grow as a channel, it helps us get more views and, you know, spread the word about our channel. It really, get so into if it. you made it this far, get into 600 subs, you. man. Get into 600 yeah. subs. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But yeah, again, appreciate you all for watching. <laughs> Enough with this uh, convoluted. <laughs> outro but uh this has been so back sports and i'll see you guys in the next one